Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate some basic formulas for the popular spreadsheet program on macOS known as Numbers. Why would you want to learn about formulas? Well, formulas will convert raw data into quality information, and it's much more accurate than doing calculations by hand. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to use mathematical operators to create your own formulas, as well as use the built-in formulas for even more efficiency. Let's get started. Before I begin creating functions, I will need some fake data to work with. Imagine I own a small business, and I would like to track the total amount of revenue this business generates. This business is only open on weekdays, so I've created a row of labels spanning Monday through Friday, and a column of labels for gross sales, expenses, and final net profit. I'm going to fill in the fake sales for the previous week. So let's say Monday I had $200 in sales and no expenses. Tuesday, let's say I made $110 in sales but had $50 in expenses come in. Wednesday, I made $170 in sales but only had $10 in expenses. For Thursday, I'll put in $240 in sales and $70 in expenses. And for Friday, I'll put in $300 in sales and $20 in expenses. There's my fake data. Now I'm going to demonstrate the basic way to build a formula by building one that will total my gross sales for the week. I will start the formula by choosing the blank cell where I would like the results to appear and hitting the equals key on my keyboard. This tells numbers that I would like the information in this cell to be automatically calculated from data in other cells. So I'm going to choose Monday's gross sales plus Tuesday's gross sales plus Wednesday's plus Thursdays plus Fridays. So now my formula reads B3 plus C3 plus D3 plus E3 plus F3. When I hit the return key, I automatically get the total for all of this week's sales. Notice that I can change one of the cells and my total will automatically update and I can change it back. It will update back as well. It's worth noting that while this function is pretty straightforward, numbers can handle just about any mathematical formula you throw at it. I could have just as easily have entered something like 2 times 9 plus 4 divided by 3 plus whatever is in the cell known as B3, and numbers would have handled it just fine. It would have even factored in the correct order of operations. As for the expenses row, I would like to total those as well, and I could follow the same process that I just demonstrated but this time I'd like to use a formula that Numbers already has built in. This formula is called SUM. So I'm going to place my cursor in H4 as that's where I'd like the output to end up. I'm going to press the equals key on my keyboard and type capital S U M for SUM. Now I'm going to take my mouse and drag it from B4 all the way over to F4 and hit the enter key. By using this built-in formula I can quickly and easily total all of the rows that I've selected. To calculate my net profit, I know I need to subtract my expenses out of my gross sales. So, another manual formula it is. I'm going to hit the equals key, and I'm going to tell numbers that I would like to take my gross sales. I'm going to hit the minus key on my keyboard so that I can subtract my expenses. When I hit return, I automatically get the net profit for the week. I can repeat this process for all of these sales so that I can see my net profit on a more granular basis. And through the magic of video editing, I've repeated the formula across each day of the week. You'll notice that as I click in each cell, the formula that generates the data in that cell is being displayed down in the bottom left. Numbers is automatically calculating my net profit for every single day of the week and the weekly total. Now imagine I would like to calculate the average net daily profit my small business generates. Well, I can easily build that one of two ways. The first manual way is to take the $870 of net profit for the week and divide it by the five days in the week. So if I come down to B7, hit my equals key, choose my weekly net profit, and put in that I'd like to divide that by the five days in the week, I know that on average each day I netted $174. Now I'm going to clear out that $174 and use the numbers baked in average formula. So once again, I'm going to hit the equals key. And I see over here on my right hand function sidebar that I have a whole list of functions I can choose from inside numbers. I'd strongly recommend you read through each and every one of these as they provide a tremendous help in creating highly complex functions.
We see up here that there's an average function, and down below it tells me exactly what the average function does. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that I'd like to use the average function, and I'd like to average the net daily profit for each day of the week. When I hit enter, I get the same $174. While it may seem like adding, subtracting, multiplying, averaging, or otherwise manipulating this data would have been easy enough to do manually, stop and consider a couple of key factors. What if the data were to become more complex? To keep things simple for this example, I used whole numbers. But in the real world, data is messy and full of all kinds of crazy things. Decimal points, just to name one. Also, why would I not want to set up something where now all I have to enter in is my gross sales and expenses and everything else is automatically calculated for me? By creating formulas and numbers, I don't have to worry about calculations at all. I simply enter my data and let numbers do the heavy lifting. I've barely scratched the surface of what numbers formulas can do, and there are literally hundreds of built-in formulas for you to explore and enjoy. By learning these formulas, you'll become a master number cruncher in no time. I want to thank you for watching. My name is Alex Spencer, and this has been a tutorial for Tuts Plus.